In the previous video, we had set up a distillation column to separate a stream that was composed of propane, n-hexane, and i-pentane. We used the shortcut distillation column in order to get approximate values to use for the design of the column, the actual column. We then went ahead and created the model of the actual column and we changed the design spec from a reflux ratio and overhead vapor rate spec, which is now inactive, to reflux ratio, which is active, and temperature, which is active. In this next phase, we will be changing the spec from a temperature in the tops to a duty. So we will choose column duty, add spec, and we will choose the condenser duty. And now we have the condenser duty. This condenser duty is 2.902 by 10 to the 7th. And what we are going to do is we are going to shift the specification from the temperature to the duty. So we will activate the duty spec which of course will over specify our column so we deactivate the temperature spec we may need to stop reset and run our column in order to get it to solve sorry common mistake the duty was minus 2.9 by 10 to the 7th. The duty having to be negative as it is cooling. We can verify that even though the column has changed its specification, its temperature is still very close to the previously specified temperature of 30 degrees. Hence we know we are using cooling water as our cooling medium. In fact, we can go into our energy stream and we can change our utility type to cooling water. It will then calculate the mass flow of cooling water required. Now, our column is an ideal column, meaning that the tray or stage efficiencies are 100%. Here we can see that the total efficiency for the column is 100% as all the stage efficiencies or trade efficiencies are 100%. We can change an individual efficiency to any value between 0 and 1. Efficiencies for different types of internals are well documented in the literature. Coulson and Richardson Chemical Engineering Volume 6 has a table that shows the efficiencies of different types of internals. We can, multi we can specify multiple stages by selecting them, entering the efficiency required, and clicking the Specify button. Note, even though we were able to remove some of the efficiency from the trays, for stages, we still have a solution. But let's look at the impact on our composition. We will see that our composition is going from 88% down to 86%. Now that we have inputted proper tree or stage efficiencies, we can decide to add stages 
to improve the efficiency of the overall performance of the column. To do this, we click the Edit Trees button and we will add 10 trees. We must specify where the trees will be added and taking special note of the inlet stage location relative to the total column, we can add the trees. We'll see now that we have 20 trees and a feed location still of tree 5. We may find that when we run the column, it will not solve. What we should do is place the feed tree position relative to the column in the same location. Now we can reset and run our column and we will solve. We can now look at our composition and there is a marginal increase in performance. We may choose to then decide to remove some of those trees as there is very little increase in performance. One special note is that when we add trees, trees are added with 100% efficiency. So therefore, you must correct for this. You can also remove trees. In this case, we'll remove five trees. So edit trees, number of trees to change is five. We'll remove them from the lower half of the column. And, sorry, we must click the remove trees button. Note, we are at position 10 of 15. We should return this close to the center of the column where it was initially. Right. We can have a look and see that removing those five trees did not really affect the composition too much. So, now that we have a situation where we are limited by the temperature on the tops in terms of the purity of propane that we can get, we have several options. One option would be to send this much smaller flow to a second column and achieve and use a refrigerant to achieve a tops temperature of around 5 degrees which will give us the separation we require. Or, we can choose to use a pump around and cool using the same volume of, refriger of refrigerant the pump around stream and return it to the condenser or to stage 1. Let's do the latter. So we're going to add a pump around operation. Under the side up stab, you will see side strippers, rectifiers, pump arounds, and vapor bypasses, even side draws. We're going to add a pump around. Although I will not cover all of these side operations, the procedure is more or less consistent. So we're going to add a pump around. We can name our pump around if we wish. We're going to return to stage one and our draw stage is going to be stage six. You can choose to add a pump if you wish. 
or I will show you where this can be done at a later stage. You can put the cooler DP, in this case one atmosphere is fine, and you can click install. This window comes up. You will notice now that you have added to the unit operation, you have added degrees of freedom and therefore you cannot get a solution for your column at this stage. You must specify two pieces of information. One, the rate at which the fluid will be pumped around from stage six. In this case, 250 kilogram moles per hour. And you must specify the temperature difference. In this case, minus 60 degrees. Note the duty is negative as the temperature change is negative. We can now reset and run our unit up and we have a solution. Now even though our condenser duty has not changed because the cooling water we're using is the same, we will see that the temperature of the tops product has dropped. This is because there is a pump around cooling the liquid off a tray 6 and returning it to tray 1. We should also see that the composition of propane has improved. We can return to the pump around page and here we can change by editing the pump around, we can change the volume of, or the molar flow, sorry, that is pumped around. With a much higher molar flow rate, the temperature drops, and what we should have is a slightly more pure product. If we wanted to take a more detailed look at what's going on in this column, we can use the column environments button. And here we can see our pump around in detail. We can choose to add a pump to the pump around in order to overcome the pressure loss in the heat exchanger. To return from the column environment, you can use the flow sheet modify tab and view parent. This will return you to the main HISIS flow sheet where you can look at this. Now, if this were a real column, we may be interested in physical dimensions that we would need to use in our design. To do this, we use our design tools. So under the Equipment Design tab, we will be adding a tray sizing utility. The tray sizing utility will determine what is the diameter of the column we should use in order to avoid flooding or weeping. In this section, we specify the utility name, which can be changed. We select the tower from our case, T100, main tower section. If we had side strippers or we had side rectifiers, they would show up here. We now add a section 
The reason Hisis gives you the option of adding sections is you may want to specify a distillation column with different diameters throughout the, the total length. In our case, we will specify one section which is going to be packed, which is going to be at the base of the column. So this will be from 11 to 15. It's going to have packing. And we are going to do a design calculation. And we will add a section to the top of the column, which will be from 1 till 10. And that we will use a sieve tree. Note, for packing, the parameter that is used to determine the diameter of the column is the delta P, or the pressure drop due to packing. For sieve trees, flooding is the limiting parameter. We can come into the specifications tab, and here we can specify foaming factor, which affects the pressure drop, the maximum delta P allowable, and you can even specify the type of packing that will be used. And Hysis has an exhaustive list of packing. We will now look at the performance. And here we can see that the section diameter for the pack section should be 3.2 meters. And the section diameter for the trade section should be roughly 2.6 meters. We can look at packing specific results. Or trade results. If there are any warnings, we can view them. In this case, there are no warnings. Warnings would include approaching weeping or flooding or high noise or vibration. This brings us to the end of the distillation column section. Next, we will be looking at unit operations such as kinetic reactors and absorbers.